Welcome back. We had the rainy conditions this morning, but it turned out to be a decent afternoon with sunshine appearing and it looks like another mild night for us. We stay above the freezing mark, but the areas of fog could be locally dense overnight tonight. More rain back in the forecast late tomorrow. Winds will become brisk towards tomorrow evening. Downright balmy for Christmas Eve with record breaking temperatures expected here in the Twin Tiers. The record 60. We should shatter that by almost 10 degrees. 48 the current temperature in Elmira with winds currently calm and Ithaca looking at a current temperature of 51 with winds light out of the southwest. Area temperatures elsewhere 48 Corning, 51 in Watkins Glen, 50 in Ridgeberry and 50 in Tawanda. So again a mild evening all across the Twin Tiers. 53 in Dansville, 52 right now in Syracuse, 53 in Scranton. Similar temperatures down towards Williamsport. Not much showing up on first warning Doppler radar. The showers from earlier today now well off towards the north and east. And as we fly down to the south and west, not much going on until you hit the Gulf Coast here. And eventually some of this moisture lifting our way as we go through the day tomorrow. Forecast for tonight, though, mainly dry, just some scattered clouds, areas of fog. Temperatures holding pretty much steady here through the overnight period. Temperature down to 42 degrees and for tomorrow, Another very mild day. Now today we managed to get into the mid and upper 50s. A little bit warmer tomorrow. 60 our 5 degree guarantee with some scattered showers. One of the neat things we can do with this uh, weather uh, system is analyze some of the computer models. I'm going to step off the screen for you here and do a little jet stream analysis for you because we're looking for some kind of signs of winter and see if it's in the offing anytime soon. And basically we're going to just draw in this jet stream for you have a trough of low pressure here over the west and a big ridging over the east. This is what we're expecting for Christmas Eve. So basically what this means, all the cold air here back towards the north and west. So not anywhere near us here in the Twin Tiers. And as we advance this here for you going through the weekend and early next week, well, the jet stream does take a little dip here uh, off to the west, bring some colder air temperatures back down. But uh, a briefly cooler for us here. This is early next week, but as we advance this through a good portion of next week, this takes us all the way through next Friday. Boy, not a whole lot of change going on. Again, a persistent trough of low pressure here out west and a ridge over the east. So again, most of the colder temperatures staying back over the upper Midwest where you see those purple shaded colors. And um, yeah, other than like a little brief cool down here for early next week, we're talking temperatures still solidly above average. Closer look at the forecast here as we go through the next 48 hours. Again, we're looking at some scattered clouds tomorrow. Another wave of low pressure coming up from the south, and that'll bring some wet weather later in the day tomorrow, and that'll taper off. And then as we go into Thursday, some spotty showers. This is Christmas Eve day, and this is when we could approach 70 degrees for a high temperature. So spotty shower, but temperatures exceptionally mild. We forecast 52 today, and we hit 57. Close call with that 5-degree guarantee. Areas of fog tonight, 42 degrees, 60 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee. And as we look at the first warning seven day forecast, uh, Christmas Day itself, 54 degrees with dry conditions, a little unsettled over the weekend, briefly cooler Monday, but again, most of next week staying above average.